What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys my new car. So guys, I've been, uh, I've been quiet for about two weeks now. And uh, yeah, long story short, I've been uh, in discussion with a few people. I've been getting my, my ducks in a row and I bought another car as well. So yes guys, before we continue, before I show you what car it is, go down in the comment section below, go and uh, comment there what car you guys think I bought. This red thing here, would have maybe given it away, perhaps the interior, but yes guys, I'm super happy with my new car, super happy with the purchase. This doesn't mean that I've sold any of my other cars, it's just to add on to the garage. So yeah guys, let's get to that, uh, that cinematics and let me show you guys what car I bought. guys can you believe it I bought him not a BMW after a lot of debates after thinking it through um, after the the video of the 330i individual I've been long searching for a 330i and this one came up and I couldn't say no so yeah guys you would have seen the cinematics of of the car she's still in beautiful condition I'm super super happy with this purchase it's another call to the channel and it's another call for me to enjoy I'll be honest I'm not gonna do a lot of um, modifications on this car like I said in in the blue 330 is video stock standard they are stunning cars stunning and I'll be honest it's a better looking car for me than an E90 it definitely is so guys, I'm going to be open and honest in this video, show you all the nitty gritty things on the car that I need to fix. Maybe I'll do some technical Tuesday videos on this car, but it really doesn't need a lot of attention or maintenance. So let's start with the exterior guys. This is a full M Sport package. It's not an individual, although it's very close to an individual model. It's a 2004 BMW 330i M Sport and it's in titanium silver. Now silver is not my first preference in color, but guys, let's be honest, in, in today's day and age, you know, if you, if you get a 330i in a good condition, no matter the color, you're gonna jump on it. So yes, the first thing you'll notice is a little bit of bumper gap here. Um, that's simply just fitment. I'll have to take the bumper off and just realign this. Secondly, I've noticed that this cover here is gone. So I'll have to source another cover here. Um, I redid the headlights so they were faded pretty much and uh, I got Etienne from Creative Car Detailing to help me and uh, he basically gave them a good clean finish again. I didn't want to get replacement covers as most of them are fake and the fitment is not that well. So yes, you can see this kidney grill here. It doesn't fit that well so I'll have to get new kidney grills and Looking at the front here, yeah, this fog light has a chip in it, so I'll have to... I'm just going to buy two new fog lights and one cover for that side. This headlight was done as well, so it's looking mint again. But furthermore guys, exterior wise, I saw this bumper here has a bit of a fitment issue as well. Just uh, realignment needed. These uh, 
plates here this one is blacked out so it was extra optional you can see the alignment here is not that great so i'll have to get that done and on this side here at the back i got new exhaust tips for this car so brand new chrome exhaust tips they look stunning and this side the bumper is perfectly fine but once again yeah the alignment on this uh, trim piece here needs to be be done again but on this side the bumper fits perfectly and yes if i look at the brake calipers I'll, I'll go through modifications on this car so it's got red brake calipers someone sprayed these calipers uh, red it's got a wing on here i've never never seen these wings before the color matches pretty good and i can't see any glue in here on the side so it was done pretty well yeah if there's wind noise again sorry for that guys i can hear the alarm there in the background but yes this wing is on here at the back that gives a nice bit more of an aggressive look to this car but i'm not planning on taking it off it looks pretty good looking here at the back you guys can see the m signature there it doesn't show individual it shows an m signature the rear seats are you guys can see not even these things are very well known on the e46 to be worn out they are still in pristine condition yeah guys here at the back it's like new still and getting to the front as i said i'm going to be open and honest about this car okay before i get in slight slight wear marks on the seat really not that bad on the armrest you can see also slightly but really not that bad so yes this was the main thing for me guys the the steering wheel i don't know if you guys can see it it really does have some some age to it so i'm gonna have to make a plan with a steering wheel somewhere at a time but yes gear knob is still perfectly fine these center pieces are also well known in e46s to show age it does show age so i'm probably gonna have to respray this sand it down and respray it but yes you guys can see there it's got 232,000 kilometers on it i got it in 131 and then i'll go through extra optionals on this car so it also has the auto headlight function um, secondly anti-dazzle mirror which is pretty cool i like that a lot and then yeah cup holders guys cup holders in the e46 it's the first one i've seen with cup holders and then another thing i can mention which is pretty cool is this car has as the factory rubber mats instead of those material mats and i prefer this any day of the week over the material mats it's got this alu cube like the individual models has um six speed manual it's got tire pressure monitor as well um first e46 that i've specifically owned with this but yes i'm going to show you guys the other problem with this car and it's the roof liner you guys can see the roof liner started sagging there at the back as well and here at the front so i don't know what i'm going to do to approach that but yes you guys can see even the armrest here on still in mint condition 330i with those silver rings yes so that's about it guys um full m aerodynamics m tech 2 package on it and then i'm gonna show you guys the engine bay it is a bit dirty i'll admit it's not the cleanest i haven't had time to to give it a good clean but here we have the stunning m54 b30 engine I've gone through this engine, no tappet cover leaks, the Vanos still feels uh, good, I've monitored the water usage, it doesn't use any water as well, naturally any B30 uses a bit of oil, um, I've covered just over a thousand kilometers with it and I topped it up with about 200 milliliters this weekend, and yeah, then you've got your normal power steering water bottle that's uh, sweating, those uh, power steering bottles, it's a well known thing on E46 as well. But furthermore guys i think it was an excellent buy an excellent buy and i'm not gonna discuss price too much i really really got it for a bargain i think it was the the buy of the century for me guys and yes like i said just another call to the channel just another daily driver for me yeah guys so next week's video has a lot of lot of good content in it I've uh, really stepped up my game and 
just the reason for for being a bit on the down low for two weeks now i've sorted out a few things i've arranged a few things and yeah this channel is going to grow quite immensely or at least that's my expectation thank you guys for watching another test drive thursday although it's not a test drive thursday more of a announcement of my new car i'll see you guys in next week's video and yeah i'm very excited to see what's what's ahead thanks guys cheers <laughs> <laughs>